Popcurrent's exclusive sponsor is Bakersfield Heart Hospital. Happy Friday and welcome back to Popcurrent. I'm Nicole Gitsky. Well, Mother's Day isn't this weekend, but you may want to start thinking ahead about how to surprise mom and let her know that she feels special. Well, today we're going to check out some local businesses that are offering some unique takes on Mother's Day gifts. So let's go. We are joined by Randy Sue, and she's the owner of Buttercream Cookie Co. And today we're going to do something interesting. Instead of a bouquet of flowers, bouquet of cookies. And that's something interesting that you actually are offering for Mother's Day. Tell us about it. Yes, so I am love flowers. I think they're beautiful, um, but they do die. I figured that it would be wonderful and delicious to offer flower cookies and kind of add to the Mother's Day memory and something that is very delicious. And if she wants to, she can absolutely share. Um, so here we are. These are what I'm providing. You know, I think the big thing is like, even for my mom, loves flowers. But the thing is, is she doesn't like the ones that you get in a vase because they die. And the thing is, is who doesn't love cookies? It's a true story. Yeah, that would be very sad if someone did. <laughs> you know, you're talking about how much, you know, you love cookies, flowers, all that. Is that kind of what inspired you to start this idea? Um, for the idea of Mother's Day, yes, absolutely. You know, every mother is beautiful, and so I wanted to give something or make something that someone can purchase and to show to kind of reflect their mom's beauty, you know, inside and out. Um, that is where I come up with the flower idea for this box. So. Now, I'm curious, tell us about how you started Buttercream Cookie Co. <laughs> I, I laugh, I giggle. It all started with wanting to go to Disneyland. Um, I needed to find an extra income in our um, normal uh, life and things like that. And I, my husband was wonderful and encouraged me, you know, you make these sugar cookies every Christmas. And I was like, no one's gonna buy those. Um, but lo and behold, we're almost almost five years now doing this business, and it's been an amazing adventure. And try and be as creative as possible, and try and be there for the community with whatever occasion that they may have. And sometimes it's a Tuesday, and people are wanting cookies. So um, I've just been very humbled and appreciative of all the events that I've been able to be a part of their lives and their good times and their memories. So. We are joined now by Yureli, and she is the founder of 661 Sweets, and she is offering so many gorgeous Mother's Day specials. Tell us all about it. Hi, everyone. I do own 661 Sweets, so these are some of the options I will be offering for Mother's Day. This is our two-tier box. It does include roses at the top. It also has a tier in the bottom to include strawberries. I also have this box over here. It says mom. It comes with two dozen strawberries and you have the option of putting Ferrero Rocher chocolates in the middle or also roses. Oh, how nice. <laughs> so are these the two options you'll be offering or do you have more? I'll also have more. I'll have like smaller options. Like um, I'll also I'll be offering churro cheesecake and smaller strawberries, like half dozen. Tell us about your business, how you got started. Um, you're, pr you're relatively new, correct? Yes. Um, I also, I actually started a year ago. So it was last year on Valentine's Day, I was making some chocolate covered strawberries for my mom. Obviously they were not perfect. I have improved so much. Like you could see pictures from when I first started that would look nothing how to what it looks like now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is gorgeous. This really looks like it was made in like a culinary school. What has it been like for you um, just throughout the past year? I mean, you started kind of, you know, in a time when it oh, was yeah. so crazy. What has it been like, you know, just to see your business blossom? Okay, so actually, I was working at a school, um, at an elementary school, and they had to close down due to COVID, and um, I didn't know what to do. I was just at home, and I, I felt like I wanted to start doing something to earn a little bit more money, but I didn't know what to do. I wasn't good at doing anything, and um, while watching YouTube and other pages, I just grabbed, went to the store, grabbed some chocolate and strawberries. I didn't, I went through so much different chocolate because you had to go through so many to find the correct one. Um, but ever since then it has been, it blossomed, it grew little by little. It does take a lot of effort running a little business. I mean, look at you now. <laughs> yeah. Look at what you can create, it's amazing. This is something I never thought I'd be doing. <laughs> For a full list of how to order from Buttercream Cookie Co. at 661 Sweets, head to our website, kgep.com. That's it for us here at this Popcorn. We'll catch you next Friday at noon.